All right, that was a capture gallery clip there. That means that we hit about a 15-minute marker on the first part, so we're now we're moving on to the second part. And in case you missed my last step, I shot that weather device to go ahead and drop this down here. So you grab that arrow. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to shoot all three bonfires. This can be tricky with the zombies on you. There's the first one. And it's lit on fire. So I'm going to let these guys come down. I don't really want to take them out unless I have to. There's one. And there's two more bonfires. There's one down here. Figure out what works best for you to shoot them. A little bit higher. There we go. That's the second one. Now the third one I'm going to use the teleporter for. And that's located down here. Through these doors to this teleporter. This will take you to the rocket pad area. So we have two bonfires lit. We need to light the third, and it's located right there. Alright, that's three good shots. Now that we have those three lit, we can go down to the pyramid room. Okay. Up these stairs, through these doors, into the pyramid room. This can be a tricky step for some. I'm going to try and show everybody one time through, but it might take a couple tries. You want to wall run and hit all five locations. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Oh, and I missed the fifth. I am so sorry. I'm going to have to wall run it again. Well, at least I can show you thoroughly how it's done. That would have been the last one if I had hit it. So I'm going to have to wait for the anti-gravity to come back. It takes about two minutes. In that time, I'll just explain what I'm trying to do here. Um, we lit all three bonfires on fire. We grabbed the arrow with the weather device. And uh, now we need to wall run in the pyramid room here. And this time I'm going to start on this wall. Maybe that You want to stay on the wall as long as possible, if you can help it. Because if you fall down, it'll reset and make you start all over again. Once we get this wall run done here, there's only a few more steps. It will not take too much longer. So we're just waiting for the anti-gravity to kick back on. It will be happening here shortly. And we also are expecting a Panzer here within the next couple of rounds. There we go. Anti-gravity's on. So, I'm going to start my wall run over here this time so I don't have to jump. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Once you hear that sound, that's the indication that you've done it correctly. Now I can go ahead and go back upstairs. And now we can start filling the urns. There are three locations for these urns. The first location is up here. And this is the first one we'll start with. Now it's electrocuting or shooting off electricity. What we need to do is fill that up with zombie souls. So, we'll wait for the zombies to come, and then we'll start to fill. There's one. And the way to know that this is done correctly and completed is it will stop grabbing souls. That means you can move on. But you can see how this can be a problem if you're doing this on high rounds. You have to stay in this room. If you go outside the room and kill zombies, they will not get collected. It does not have to be done with the bow. You can use other guns to fill it. And it's full already. So we'll move on to the next one. The second location is not too far from the first. It's 
going to be located right down here. And we just want to do the same thing we did at the first one. Just keep shooting your arrow or your other guns, whatever you have, and fill that chamber up, that urn up. conserve some of the bow. Figure I'd use this. Alright, and that is going to be all of it. Nope, not yet. That'll do it. It is full now. So we got a third urn, and then we'll be done filling the urns. The last urn is down by the rocket pad. And I can hear in the background, the rocket pad is actually about to launch right now. Unavailable during rocket test fire. We're going to have to wait for the rocket test to get done before we can even teleport there. You're probably wondering, what is that? Unless you already are familiar with this map. Uh, it means that there's a rocket doing a test run there. If you're in that location when it's going off, it will fry you. You will die. Uh, there is a safe location next to the rocket pad that I will show you. And it's also a way to get one of the pieces of the Ragnarok. Ragnarok DG4. Which we will be going for once we upgrade our bow. Alright, so this is the third and final urn right here. Just want to fill that up, just like the other two. That's going to end the round. That's okay. We're almost done with these steps. Now I will have to... Adjust my strategy if the Panzer comes. Alright, it's almost full. It is full. Now what I want to do is just keep a couple alive here to get the rest of this done. Hopefully ammo does not become a problem for the bow, because we will need the bow to complete the last few steps. down there. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Now what you need to do is you need to draw back your bow inside of here and it'll catch with the lightning that you just harnessed from the zombie souls. And we need to hit each one of those three bonfires like we did earlier, but this time with the lightning. Uh, that was a bad shot, so I'm going to take another one. This can be difficult, or it can be, be easy, depending on your skill with the bow. There you go, there's the first one. Now I can go ahead and activate the other two. I promise we're almost done upgrading this bow. It can seem like a pain, but it is totally worth it when you're completed with it. We have the one bonfire completed. We need two more, also with the lightning on it. Lightning and fire on all three. Here's the other urn that we collected it from. This one can be difficult. 